Evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back for a third time. We have not given in to despair yet. Absolutely not. Spirits are high. Productivity is even higher. Because we have. In amongst us, we have someone very special indeed. Please step forward. Miss Bessie Grouse, Elizabeth to her friends. She has been deemed essential. A rare honour indeed. We do not know what she is essential for. We do not know where she works. That's a question, Bessie. Have you ever seen the place you work? No. As soon as I step outside of my door and step past the bins, a delivery driver blindfolds me and chucks me in the back of a small box in the back of his bike and takes me to work that way. At great speed? Mm, at great speed. Excellent. Now, I have heard rumours that your job brings you into contact with the afflicted. Though, of course, I do not know what your job is, and the, the general public cannot know what your job is. Have you seen the afflicted? In passing or in person? I hope it's in passing. I really hope it's not in person. And a final question for you, Bessie. What is it like? How does it feel to be so essential to this country's well-being at such a vital time? Great! This concludes our interview with The Essential. Today's poem is about a person who is similarly essential to all of us. The great tennis player Andy Murray. Sir Andy Murray, I should say. It's called Racket Run, or Does Andy Murray Dream of Electric Tennis Balls? Did you dream of balls when you were young? I mean, did you as a child dream of balls? Tennis balls, specifically. I mean, most children are introduced to tennis via swing ball, which is not really a tennis ball per se, but a kind of proxy of a tennis ball with a string attached. And did you think I'll hit that ball off the court? And did you like your pairs shot bought, nerves tensed, taut? This concludes today's update. May the blessings of Bob and this house be upon you in this troubled time.